Could I just check what concerns uh, the Ministry has in terms of coming up with a ban on the use of electric collars? I think SMS Tan himself tried the use of, of the electric collar and it is painful. Uh, obviously, it's painful for the dogs as well and that, that's why it's being used to train them. So, uh, how could it not be a physical abuse when it causes pain and suffering to the dogs which are being trained? Thank you. I didn't know the member was uh, keeping track of me. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't post about it. Uh, but as part of the whole process, I did indeed uh, got my MPAX colleagues to uh, bring in a, a range of uh, electric collars <coughs> and I tried all of them myself. Uh, on a range of 1 to 10, I, on myself, on myself. I tried it on myself. Um, on a range of 1 to 10 in terms of spectrum, I probably got to about 7 uh, and it has been very painful and the marks and show on the skin. But it's not just the pain, but also the shock of it because the animal or whoever's uh, wearing the electric collar would know when the shock is applied. So I can empathize with what the member is saying. And I've also shared um, the position the government is taking uh, on looking at some of these issues uh, to my reply to his uh, question. So I must commend the member for his doggedness. Uh, on, um, on 4th of March, 4th November 2020, as well as 4th, 4th of March of 2022, I've made some of these uh, elaboration or considerations. But more importantly, uh, in the coming months, we will release the guidelines and we will welcome a further conversation among different segments of our community, both the dog owners, the pet owners, <coughs> trainers, as well as animal welfare groups, as well as many other members of the public. So we're continuing these conversations and I think the guidelines will be out very soon.